Hi, this whole course is focused primarily on making custom tools with PyRevit, but everything we learn here can also be transferred to Dynamo to be used in Python nodes. But there are a few differences that you should know about. So if you want to learn about these differences, let's have a look and compare how to use Revit API in Dynamo. So the first thing, let's open Google and type Dynamo Python template. Then look for this website from Primer Dynamo Beam. On this page, they explain you how to actually change default template that you see in Python nodes. And they provide a template right here. So I thought I'm just gonna copy this whole template and we're gonna go side by side and rewrite it all in PyCharm. Then let's create a new button in our templates pull down menu. Let's call it dynamo template.push button. And then inside, I'm gonna create a script file. And also, we need another temporary file. And let's paste this template right here. And if you are using PyCharm, we can click right here on the top and then split it vertically. So first of all, you can see that there is CLR module imported. This module is the core of Iron Python because it makes .NET libraries accessible in Python. And therefore, we can use Revit API with Python. If I click on Alt-Q, you will see this doc string appear about CLR module and you can read more about it. Then next, you can see that we can add references with this CLR module to other libraries. In this case, we reference Revit API and Revit API UI libraries. We need them to access classes and methods from Autodesk Revit DB and from Autodesk Revit UI. But in case of PyRevit, we don't have to do this because it's already done behind the scenes by PyRevit engine. Then it's very common to add reference to the system module, which is .NET library. And we have to do this in PyRevit as well. Mainly, we are interested in the list class from there because when we work with Revit API, oftentimes we need to provide high collection or list of elements as the argument. Then in here, we have a reference to Revit nodes. And these are the nodes from Dynamo. And we don't really have access to them through PyRevit. I saw that somebody online actually managed to get access to them, but it looked way too complicated and Dynamo still had to be open in background. So we're not gonna cover this part. Next, there is add reference to Revit services. And this is used to get document manager and transaction manager in Dynamo. You can see below document manager is used to get our doc and UI doc variables and transaction manager is used to start and commit our transactions. But in PyRevit, we do it differently. I'll just paste this code right here on how we get doc and UI doc in PyRevit and there are no imports necessary for that. We could also get them from inside of PyRevit module if you want to, but I already have a habit of getting it that way. Then right here is a unique syntax to Dynamo where we unwrap element. Unwrap element is the function that converts input from Dynamo object to Revit API object. But I'm not gonna cover them either. Next, let's compare how we execute transactions in PyRevit. We need to start and commit transaction every time we create any changes in the project, or otherwise we are going to get exception. It's sort of like a guardian of Revit projects to avoid unwanted changes, and it's great for beginners to know that they cannot ruin their projects without using it. Let's declare our transaction using transaction class, which comes from Autodesk Revit DB, and we need to provide a document and a name of the change as arguments. Then we start and commit our transaction, and all the changes have to go in between. Also, we can use transactions as context managers, and it might be good to have this identification to separate this code block. And in the module about transactions, I will show you how you can create your own custom context managers. So you won't even need to start and commit anything, and we can add even more functionality in there. And lastly, in Dynamo, you can see this out statement. It represents what comes out of Python node in Dynamo, and obviously, we don't need this in PyRevit. And this is pretty much the main differences between PyRevit and Python node in Dynamo. And the rest, you import the same classes and use them the same. So I hope this was helpful, and if you have any other questions about Python node in Dynamo, let me know and I'll try to answer it. And now we're getting to the end of module of setting up your development environment. Lastly, if you want to have secure backup of your extension on GitHub and the ability to share it with others, make sure you watch this next video where I will show you how to do this.